This video is going to be about the manifold absolute pressure sensor and the turbocharger boost pressure sensor. The boost pressure sensor is here. We've got here a four wire connector which indicates that we've got as well the intake air temperature sensor. So this is quite a simple sensor to read. When the engine is going to be idling without a load, it's going to be the maximum vacuum, which means that the manifold pressure should be as low as possible. Since this is a hybrid, the engine will go on and off a lot of times while you drive. So here is the moment when it goes up and you can see the manifold pressure decreases and goes down. And as you can see, the sensor has bolt holes, but it's hold it on by these plastic clips. Let's see, let's wiggle it out. Let's see, I'm going to try with this file to place it in between here. Hopefully I can take out the sensor meanwhile. I think it works. <coughs> These magnetic peaks are very helpful in this situation. So here is the sensor and you can see the intake air temperature sensor right there, that little ball. And as I expected, there is some oil on it. This is the part number if you need it. Usually these will not go bad, but they can become unprecise after a while. Oil and rubber is not a good friend usually over a long time. Now to check if the o-ring is sealing, you need to see it above these two surfaces. So this one looks good. Now we can do a simple bench test. Let's turn the voltmeter to ohms readings. Between 1 and 2, we've got 2600 ohms. Between 1 and 3, 3130 ohms. Between 1 and 4, we've got 1540 ohms. Between 2 and 3, 5480. Between 2 and 4, 3820 ohms. 3 and 4, we've got 1590 ohms. And from this point it's quite simple, you just take the sensor from your car and do the same tests. And if you find, for example, a huge difference, then you know the sensor is bad and needs replacement. Now let's try to remove this sensor as well. I'm going to place my file here, unplug the connector. Now it looks like this one has as well an intake air temperature sensor. Again, they are numbers, so let's see again the values. Let's start from pin number 1 and 2. We've got 6130 ohms between 1 and 3. 230 ohms, 1 and 4, 110 ohms. So they are not the same values. Between 2 and 3, full continuity. Between 2 and 4, 6160 ohms. Between 3 and 4, 110 ohms again. So quite different values compared to the intake manifold pressure sensor. Now let's turn on the ignition and check the voltage values. So let's start with the intake one. I'm going to hold the connector with the clip up between 1 and 2, 4.68 volts, 1 and 3, 5 volts, 1 and 4, 5.56 volts, between 2 and 3, 0 0.31 volts, 2 and 4, 0 0.95, between 4 and 5, 0 0.64. Now let's check this turbocharger one, between 1 and 2, 5 volts, 1 and 3, again 5 volts, 1 and 4, 5.56, 2 and 3, nothing, 2 and 4, 0 0.64 4 and 5 0 0.64 again which is kind of interesting because they both work on the same principle but they have different values when you read them okay guys so that was it thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video